Hey guys, so a previous video that I made, I did a review of these Los Cabas drumsticks from uh, out of Canada. I did these white hickories, I ordered six pairs. I guess my conclusion was that they weren't bad, but they weren't exactly cut um, straight. A little bit thicker than your, your normal drumstick, a little thicker than say a Vader, but they weren't exactly the straightest thing. Uh, I'm down to the last of these six pairs, so I decided to order up six pairs of the red hickory sticks. I wanted to see if these are any uh, any better. So I'm gonna open these up and let's take a look. Okay, so uh, let's compare these a little bit to the, the white hickory one. So obviously the packaging, the white hickory came in this kind of yellowish, light brown color and the, the red hickory one is in a, a red one. Um, but more important, the sticks do look a lot darker, the red hickory versus the white. I did do some research on the sticks before I bought them as well. And it looks like the length is exactly the same as the white hickory, so they're 16 inches. And the width is exactly the same as the white hickory too, which uh, means that they're about uh, five one thousandths of an inch thicker than Vader, so they're a little bit thicker and they'll be a little bit heavier. So I'm going to take these sticks upstairs now. I'm gonna roll them around on the table, inspect them a little bit, and let's see what we find. Okay, so again, these are the Los Cabas sticks. These are 5A hickories. Um, as mentioned, they're the same length as you would normally see for a 5A. They're a little bit thicker compared to the Vader Los Angeles style. These are five thousandths of an inch thicker. These are the ones that I showed downstairs. Uh, something actually that's a little troubling right off the bat on this stick. There's a little chip taken out on the stick. And this is right where I would usually be gripping like the back end of my palm would be rubbing up against this. So that is not exactly the greatest, but let's, uh, let's take a look to see how flat they are. Again, when I did the white hickory sticks in the previous video, uh, they were, you know, maybe three of the pairs were pretty good. And, you know, not, not great, but pretty good. And three of the pairs had one stick each that was, was uh, really had a very good size bow to it. So let's take a look at these. So. This is the first pair. So this one doesn't look like it's all too bad. Let's take a look at this guy. That one's not bad either. I'm looking to see if there's a lot of movement on this part of the stick, if this is coming up and down. And I'm looking underneath this part of the stick here to see if I can see a space opening up as the stick moves. So this stick, even though this one here has this chip on it, at least it seems to be cut pretty good. So moving on to the second pair, I don't know if this is a problem with how it, uh, after it got to the distributor or what, but you can see that the little box here, it broke. It just uh, tore completely open. Um, but we'll just uh, ignore that for right now. So let's take a look at these sticks here. Um, it looks like this one here has a little bit of an imperfection on that guy. This one, I don't see any imperfections. So if I roll it, so this has, this looks like it has a little bit more motion on this side here than the previous pair. And I can see a little bit of space opening up underneath here. This stick looks better than this one. Uh, the pair on the whole, probably not quite as straight as the first pair. 
All right, let's take a look at pair number three. So I don't really see any imperfections on this one. So that's good. Let's see if it's straight. So I can see some space in here. This part here doesn't seem to be too bad, uh, but I do see a little bit of space opening up underneath the stick here. This one looks pretty good. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just noticed the cardboard box on this one is almost also broken all the way through as well. Okay, so this is number four. I don't see any imperfections on these. Yeah, I see. It looks like there is a, uh, a bow back here. If I move the stick like this, now the butt end is sticking up a little bit. And I can definitely see some motion like this on this side. So this one's got this one and the, this one are probably the same amount of a, a total uh, a total amount on the bow. I can see that this butt end sticks up like this if I place the stick here. Maybe a little bit less motion on this side, but it still has a, a little bit of a bow. So here's pair number five. So I don't see any imperfections on like, you know, no chips, but this does have Again, this has a little bit of a bow on the back end here. So of, on this pair, I say this stick is better than, than this one. Not too bad uh, the amount of the bow. Uh, but it does have a little bit of a bow, uh, especially on the back end on both of them. Now the last pair, so I can see right now this one actually has, it looks like it has a pretty decent sized bow to it. Um, the back end, the butt end here is really sticking up when I hold it like this. And of course if I turn it 180 degrees, then the middle is sticking up. This one is, uh, it, this one's pretty good compared to this one in the pair, which had a decent sized bow. So overall, uh, my thoughts at this point are the sticks are actually much straighter, uh, if you can believe that, compared to the white hickory. Uh, even though they have a bit of a bow on several of the sticks, the degree to which they have the bow is, is, is less significant, it's less severe compared to the white hickories. I don't know if that's just this batch of sticks versus the other batch. I don't know if the white hickory versus the red hickory has anything to do with it. If, if the sticks are less likely to, to um, bend after they get cut. Uh, but so far, that's, that's what I, I find. It's, I didn't particularly like that on some of the sticks. Um, they had some imperfections, but we can um, see how that plays out on the overall quality of the stick. These sticks, the red hickory, is supposed to be more durable than the white hickory. So I am going to fast forward in time a little bit. I'm gonna play on these until I start to chip one of the sticks and we'll see how long that takes. We'll see how the sticks look after I've been beating on them. 
So I've been using these sticks for about 12 hours now. I made sure to use the same stick in the same hand the whole time. So this stick was in my right hand the whole time, this in the left. This stick, as you can see, has a pretty decent uh, chip on the tip. That chip actually started about nine and a half hours in. And you can see it's, it's pretty well beat up on the sides as well. The left hand stick is in pretty good condition uh, currently. I would say this is actually pretty comparable to the white hickory sticks. Uh, so it doesn't seem like there's too much of a difference there. I don't know if the red hickory has better life as far as the actual whole stick breaking, but as far as chipping is concerned, it seems to be uh, pretty much the same. One thing I did want to note is that these sticks do feel different than the white hickories. I'm not quite sure how to uh, explain it, but they feel a little bit a little bit smoother, a little bit easier to use than, than the, the white hickory equivalents. So I'm gonna grab a new pair of sticks now and I'm gonna play a little something for you on the hi-hat and on the ride so you can hear how they sound. So what's my overall thought on these sticks? I actually like them a lot better than the white hickories. They feel a lot better in my hands. I, I'm still not quite sure what it is, but they, they do feel better than the white hickories. And at least for the six pairs that I got, they seem to be a lot straighter. So what's your go-to pair of sticks? Let me know in the comments below so I can check those out as well. And don't forget to subscribe.